Oh gracious. Best environment for her, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so this is day one with Miss Mickey here and she's not paying much attention. She struggled a lot on the walk, a lot of pulling, a lot of lunging, especially towards other dogs, other persons. Uh, they couldn't walk the dog anywhere without you know getting a shoulder workout going. Yesterday the owners told us how they went through uh, other trainers to try to fix the walking. Have you tried any other training? Uh, yeah, she went to another trainer. Um, we had a, a, an in-house trainer that came in for four sessions. Um, with him, you know, we followed the program. Um, most of it just didn't seem to take with her. Um, what was the, the name of the program? The, the woman, the, was it Victoria Stowell? Yeah, Victoria Stowell. Yeah, yeah, we went through. That was one of her trainers. And spent most of his time talking at us and not really. Yeah, not really dealing her. with her hardly at all. He when he finally did pay attention to her, he was kind of shocked at her behavior. Mm -hmm. And he saw it and, you know, he made some recommendations for it, which I, I tried faithfully for several months. And all I noticed is it just made her more aggressive. Okay. What He suggested, you know, trying to get, well, for starters, trying to get her to sit, that, you know, and if that wasn't working, then, you know, pull her immediately away and, you know, try and get her far away from the thing and get her to sit and... Yeah, and then try to get in front of her and, yeah, and block her block seeing her and, the other dog or whatever, but it just amped her none up. of it really worked. It just, yeah. yeah. We want to be able to take her out and where she yeah. at least pays yeah. attention to us and is not, you know more settled and yeah we enjoy like, having a dog yeah enjoy really having normal things and I would love to take her for my my morning walks and not have her all over the place and hey oh hi hi everybody hi other dog hello and mm -hmm. squirrels birds so I just want to be able to walk with her and have her kind of consistent with me and keep on that exercise routine understanding so. that everybody doesn't want to play <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we do a lot of training. A lot of the problems that dogs have when leash pulling is not because they want to go into some other things or they want to you know get the dog or the cat is because they don't understand what we mean when we pull the leash they are, they think is something else and we think is something else so we need to find a way to get them to understand what we mean that way they can better um, do what we're asking them to do when we first start teaching a dog leash manners we always start indoors this gives them the opportunity to learn with the least amount of distractions and when you use a leash and a training collar. We always check the collar and the leash to make sure they're properly fitted so they're safe during the training. Now that we're checked and ready to go, we start the lesson. And not too long into the lesson, Miss Mickey has picked up amazingly well. As you can tell, there's no more leash pulling, no more reactivity. She's following my lead fairly well, and she's even coming to me when called. Now that we have the basic of the leash pressure, she understands what we want her to do without much corrections, even without forcing her to. So now I can start adding distractions. The first challenge I'm going to use is simply the door. I will give Miss Mickey an option, run to the backyard or come to me. I present her with a dilemma, I call her to me, and she comes. And this was something that she struggled with before. Every time they opened the door, she bolted for the sky. But because we taught her what leash pressure meant and what we wanted her to do with it, now she's able to follow our lead, which is what she wanted to do all along. So I worked with her for just about an hour or so, and we spent a lot of time with Miss Mickey showing her what a little bit of a leash pressure is. So what I have now to kind of test out how well she's doing is one of my dogs. I have Lucia. In the background, she's an awesome little girl. Miss Mickey has never seen Lucia before. This is actually the first time they met. So I'm gonna walk around Lucia in a little circle and I'm gonna walk back and forth and I'm gonna see if there's any leash, uh, leash pulling or leash reactivity. Because we practice indoors with the leash reactivity, you see Miss Mickey's outdoors leash manners are much, much nicer now. She's able to turn when we turn, very loose leash walking, really easy to please even with other dogs around. 
So now we're going to step up the challenge. I'm going to walk next to Lucia, and I'm going to start doing a circle. And the circle basically is a way to test the turning and at the same time the reactivity because every time I do a circle, I get closer to the other dog. So as you can see, no leash reactivity, no pulling. She stops when I stop and even comes on command when called. Come. Good job. Good job. Lucia sits. Okay. Good. Good. And she's looking to me for guidance, which is a great thing to start with. The dog understands what, I'm, what I want him to do, so they're a lot more calm. So it doesn't take much training to get your dog to stop pulling on the leash. They just have to understand what you want them to do when you do pull on the leash. 